Hi everyone. I want to say Happy New Year, Happy 2018 to all of you out there. Thank you so much for watching my videos and liking them and sharing them and subscribing them. Max wanted to come up and say Happy New Year. He said Merry Christmas. So Happy New Year from me and my sweet little doggy Max. Hope you have a great new year. Hi Pisces! Happy New Year! And welcome to your Psychic Tarot reading for the new year of 2018 plus January of 2018. This recording is for Pisces Sun, Pisces Ascendant, and Pisces Moon. Please be sure to watch your rising sign and your moon sign because some months they're going to resonate more for you than your sun sign will. I'm using the Hanson Roberts Tarot deck and I've laid out five cards and each card is for the each of the four quarters of the year and the fifth card is for the month of January, just January of 2018, this month right now. So please remember that these messages are general. This is a general reading and to get messages pertaining specifically for you, you would need a private reading. So all that being said, Pisces, now onto your reading for the new year of 2018. First card you have that shows up here, Pisces, is the Ace of Cups. And this is new love coming to you. It could be a new love relationship. Or it could be you receiving love like the Holy Grail of love coming to you. From the universe, other people. doesn't just have to be a romantic love. You have to start, uh, the guides are saying, tempering your temperament and your behavior. Maybe you're getting too edgy or uh, I don't know maybe your behaviors in some way are getting out of hand and you need to temper them. I feel like you don't want to rock the boat in some kind of situation. You don't want to upset the apple cart or tip that boat over. So you're being very cognizant of wanting smooth sailing in the first quarter of the year of 2018. It's like I feel that some of you Pisces want somebody to be close to or to hold your hand or to get you through some kind of troubled waters in some way. It's like you're looking for that either love or assistance from someone or both. Some of you that have been single for a long time may actually find your true love or a new partner for you or love mate. It comes up here that way. Now, maybe you're already intertwined with them and you've already met them and you're already coupled with them. But for some of you, you haven't met them yet and you will be meeting them in this year. Maybe, very likely, could be in the first quarter. But as I've said in the other videos, and if you listen to your rising or moon sign or one of your relative signs, you will hear me say this. It could really happen at any juncture this year, but it's coming up in the first quarter. You're utilizing all your strengths in the first quarter and you're pulling out all your all the stops. This could be to impress somebody in love. But it can also be in something you're doing or creating or in work or something you want to impress people with. So in some regards, it is to do with love, but not for all of you Pisces. It could be to do with something you love, a project, a business, an idea, uh, something you pour all your energies into. So it could be a person that you're falling in love with or that you're in love with and you want to impress them, but that's not the case for all of you. It does take a long time for you to heal from old wounds from the past. So I'm a little surprised that's coming up here with this card, but that's what the guides are telling me. So I feel like some of you Pisces need to do some work on the inside, especially with um, 
in the first quarter of the year and this may be through counseling therapy or just looking inside yourself more in that time period you have the hermit here which is guiding you showing you the way to go protecting you uh, sorry I'm trying to get off that glare uh, watching you guiding you protecting you and giving you uh, showing you the path to follow you could also be the hermit where you could be getting taking a step back and getting a lay of the land before you proceed forward but your guides are still going to be guiding you this is a card of very strong spiritual guidance I feel that some of you are finally seeing the way to navigate through troubled waters you're seeing the way to navigate through difficult situations and troubled waters some of you need to pinpoint some problem areas and dissect it down and then get to the root of the problem and solve it this could be in your own life or your own internal self emotionally speaking but it could also be in any projects you're working on or any business deals that you're going through or any work that you do whether it's your own business or whether you work for somebody else uh, it's like finding that ferreting out that problem dissecting it getting down to the nitty-gritty and solving it maybe you work on cars and or you build things and there's something that's just not working right it's a problem a problem a problem and you've got to like take everything apart to get down to it to see why is this happening and for some of you it could be your own psyche and your own psych psychology of what goes on in your life like repeated patterns and things like that some of you could get someone that wants to marry you or give you a proposal or, or engagement it could also be proposing a new business deal or proposing that the two of you live together and move in together uh, but it could be a marriage proposal you could be getting it you could be giving it but that comes up also here with the hermit no one wants to do anything right and you may have to call them to task on it so if you have employees or if you're a teacher uh, or you know you deal with groups of people or you are a contractor and the people that work under you aren't doing things right you or any kind of business you may have to like call pull out the you know call them to the mat on it and say hey hey none of you guys are working together right or you're not doing things right and and you need to uh, stop and do things the proper way or in the proper order that also comes up here for some of you Pisces in the second quarter of the year of 2018 you know philanthropy can be your strong suit at times and I feel you're going to start giving things away you could be giving away your knowledge uh, or items or money you could become someone's philanthropist or you're just being very uh, going down be, being extremely generous in the second quarter of the year with your time attention opinions knowledge money could be anything you've got the Queen of Pentacles next now this Queen of Pentacles could be you if you have something strong in earth a strong earth sign rising sign or moon sign so if you have Taurus Capricorn or Virgo as your rising or moon sign this could be you but it could also be someone else and someone important in your life because they are showing up here Pisces right in the middle here of the third quarter of the year for you I feel that some of you are really trusting them with a lot of valuable information or insights or money you're trusting them somehow some of you may not be trusting them or you may be investigating them this could be boy that was a dichotomy right there wasn't it because for some of you I do see you trusting them and for some of you I feel that you don't where or you're not sure about them and you maybe you have to hire them and you're doing a background check on them uh, I don't know it's it's a tricky one here when the people cards come up they always mean multiple things you may be having to do a lot of things together with them and figure things out 
together with them. You could be working with them or they could be a relative to you or even a significant other. But you're, you're working on things and trying to figure things out with them in this third quarter for some of you. This person could be giving you money or giving you assistance or helping you out. You know, it could go the other way. Boy, this person's a dichotomy with you because uh, I get the flip side. They could need money from you or need you to help them out also. They could be making mountains out of molehills. This, again, could be part of you also because I get an inward journey and an inward discovery. So some of you do have something strong in earth in your chart. Because for some of you, this is coming up as part of you. You know, this Queen of Pentacles could be actually coming in and doing some kind of investigating about you. Um, if you are applying for a new job, uh, maybe they're doing a background check on you. Or if there's something like you're getting uh, going to school or getting involved in a new program or... Uh, I don't know. It could even be just getting hired and the people are going to check your references. Um, <laughs> you know, it's very puzzling to me. This Queen of Pentacles is the most puzzling part of your reading thus far. So the next card we're going to look into is the Five of Cups, which is coming up in your fourth quarter of the new year of 2018. And the Five of Cups can be sadness, loss, and regret, but not all hope is lost because there's two cups still turned upright. And this could also be if you're dealing with somebody that has alcohol trouble, you know, they may be an alcoholic or uh, they just drank too much. And this could also apply to you, Pisces, it's possible. There's a situation that's arisen that I feel has put you off guard or put you took you off guard or put you on your guard. You may be reaching out to someone you haven't seen in a while for advice or assistance. Something you started may look like it was going to go well, and then it could have fallen apart and turned out not good at all. Uh, like a disappointing situation, like a situation you thought, hey, this is going really good and I have high hopes for it, but then no, it's not panning out that way. It could be a relationship that turned out, turned sour, or a friendship relationship that turned to dust. Um, you might really start thinking about that you have to channel your energies in a totally different direction. So whatever you had gotten invested in there, whether it was a career choice or a job or a friendship or a love relationship, you may now have to feel or look at it and decide you have to go in a different direction than what you thought. Things may not have panned out the way you had hoped. Protect your investments and protect your intellectual property because someone may come in and try to or want to make money off of something that you created or some work that you're doing. So you have to guard your person. I don't know. It's like intellectual property, anything you've written, anything you've designed, anything you've created. You may have to trademark it, brand it in some way. I don't know, but you have to protect it. Uh, that's what comes up here with this Five of Cups also. You may have, you know, for some of you, it could have been a real estate deal that went bad. Uh, you, maybe you purchased a property you really shouldn't have, and now you have to inject more money into it uh, than what you thought. Maybe you bought a property you wanted to flip. And it's costing you too much money now. You're having to sink too much money in it. Um, so for some of you, it could involve real estate even. You may find out also that someone in your life is got caught sleeping around. And now that's affecting their relationship. But for some of you, I don't know that that's happening to you. It could be like your cousin, you hear that their marriage is falling apart, or somebody in your life that you care about, a son, a daughter, a parent, doesn't matter who it is, could be a sibling, 
like some of you I feel are going to hear that that is happening now it could happen in some of your lives but for many of you I feel like it's somebody connected to you so the card you have in the end here which is actually January of this month but it could happen at any point I'm sorry you don't have a very good card here but we have to see why it showed up you have the nine of swords and this is like sleepless nights could be suffering from migraine headaches uh, you could be not feeling well you could be worried about somebody else not feeling well and very often this card shows up when there's a breakup of a, a, a relationship and you're grieving the loss this can be grieving the loss of something uh, can come up here with the nine of swords I do feel for some of you Pisces something not good has happened and you may feel a bit alone about it you may be trying to hide your feelings of disappointment from other people you may be trying to put on a brave face and not showing your disappointment to others you may have had somebody do something quite stupid to you and you can't believe that it's happened to you and you feel like you've gotten raked over the coals in some way you could feel like a friend has let you down a system has let you down like a school or uh, human resources an employer it could be uh, someone a, a good friend or someone you are involved or you're involved in a relationship with um, it could be coming from in that way too for you Pisces and I feel that you're really frustrated because I feel you've really gone the extra mile to try to make things work but it's like you can't figure it out it's like it feels like no matter what I do no matter how hard I try how much effort I put in or I really have tried my best and put my best foot forward or tried to figure something out it's like it's something doesn't work and you can't figure out why this is happening that's how this comes up for some of you Pisces now it is coming up as the January card for this month but this really could occur at any point in the year because it comes up to me like some of you are going to feel quite lost and feel like I can't cope with this situation anymore something's too overwhelming to you it's like you're beating your head against a wall about it you you uh, you can't cope with it you can't figure it out you've done your best you don't know what direction to do or turn you're quite at a loss here some of the solutions may not really come up for another six months nine months or to a year out about whatever this particular situation is going on it could also be there could be a situation that you're in that you just feel like you need to get out of like you can't do it anymore maybe it's a living situation maybe it's a relationship uh, I don't know maybe it's school or some uh, I don't know but it feels to me like it's something that it's disappointing you can't cope with what's happening with it anymore or you may feel like you have to get out of it because I really do feel like you've put your best foot forward you've poured in a lot of time effort energy uh, into it and the results are coming up are not making you happy and you don't really know how to rectify it or you don't know what to do about it and you could be feeling quite like it like it's too much I feel like you may feel overwhelmed by it and I don't want to end your reading on a bad note so you might want to check out what comes up on Vimeo for you for the year just to see if it's similar or this or totally different uh, you know I'm only looking at five cards here so you did have some interesting things come up but you know just like in life I know sometimes people get upset and then they they don't like the reading and they get upset well life is full of ups and downs and not every year you're going to have is it going to be star spangled year from the beginning to end in every area of your life personal professional health it's not going to go like star spangled from every single area throughout your life so 
Psychic readings are just like life. There's ups and downs. And I will say, I'm, you're the fifth sign I'm reading. All the signs pretty much have shown up with ups and downs. This is a yearly reading. So I hope this reading was of help to you, Pisces. I hope it made sense. I want to thank you so much for watching, sharing, and liking my videos. Thank you for subscribing and for Google Plusing. I do truly appreciate it. And please remember to subscribe. That way you'll get notified when I upload my videos here to YouTube. If you would like to get another Psychic Tarot reading just like this one, where I'm using the Aquarian Tarot deck and pulling five cards, one card for each quarter of the year, and the fifth card is just for the month of January 2018, you can access these videos for download and purchase by clicking on the link below this video in the Show More section, and it will take you to my Vimeo Videos On Demand page for the new year of 2018 plus January 2018 psychic tarot reading for each sign of the zodiac for download and purchase. You can also access these videos by going to my website www.theluckymermaid.com. Click on the videos tab on my menu which is a drop down menu. Go to page 12 and there you will see the headings for these videos. You just click on your sign and it will take you to that video on Vimeo. I wish you an amazing and happy new year of 2018, Pisces. And know that I wish you many blessings and peace.